So I've been seeing a lot of people ask about hover tests and battery tests. So I'm gonna try and get a couple of those accomplished. Two birds with one stone here. Uh, I've got a fully charged battery. I don't know if you're gonna make it out or not. Fully charged. I'm going to go set it up right behind me. I'm gonna bring it up 10, 15 feet. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what, I'll figure it out when I put it up, something really matters. I'm just gonna sit there for five minutes and we're gonna see how much it drifts. Uh, I'm not gonna mess with the controller unless I think it's going to crash or do something horrible. So I figure five minutes, maybe I'll make some marks on the screen or something, but we're gonna try and see how much of a deviation we can get with, or not we can get, see how much of a deviation there is. And so you're not trying to get any type of deviation, but let's see how much it actually drifts, all right? Uh, wind today is maxing out at like three to four miles an hour, so it should not be enough to really matter. So if that was noticed, I'm pretty sure it only made it about a minute and it actually landed itself. <laughs> so I don't know if the five minute test is going to work, but let's send it back up. Uh, I was only at 10 feet that time, obviously you can see it definitely went in a 10 foot <laughs> uh, roundabout way of moving up and down as it went down 10 feet. Uh, I'm going to raise it up to 15 or 20 feet this time and give it another go. You guys can actually see the screen or not if there's too much glare. Uh, I sent it up to 15 and it's went from 18 to 13 so far, so it's actually not that bad. Um, a two to three foot range isn't that horrible, so if we can maintain this, look, that's actually not, not bad, but we'll see. First one wasn't impressive. Hopefully, this one goes better. Two minutes left, and this one hasn't came down to the ground yet. So, looking better. Apparently, you gotta be at least 15 feet in the air, or it's just really picky and choosing, which I kinda think it might be the second one.
five minutes in now. There's the deviations. It's still only maintained three to three feet. Oh, I'm now going to try and just let it float. And uh, let's see what the max hovering time is on this thing. That's all I've been doing. Let's see what kind of air relief we really get. is returning to the launch location. I'm gonna see if I can keep it up. There we go. Canceled RTH, we're gonna to go to critical. Karma is landing in place. One minute. So it says that there is 53 seconds left. 52. I'm gonna go and say it's probably 45. But I don't know exactly what it was. Post, I'm sure I'll put a nifty little counter down here. I'll know all that numbers already, so maybe I'll edit this out. Maybe not, maybe I'll leave it in there. But there we go. I'll figure this out, let you guys know exactly. I'm, my guess is it was like right around 14 minutes, but it may have been a little longer. So, there we go.